hello guys welcome to my channel so today in this video we are going to make this amazing uh, react image previous so what it really does is when you click up to this one input file it automatically goes up to the image search wherever they are and what you can really do is just to add and get a preview itself so as it really works so when we're in today's video we're just going to really make exactly this one so let's get started up right here so i have released get installed the create react app in my vs code itself and it is it has been running in a local host 3000 up right here so what i'm really going to do is just erase up everything right here let me just minimize everything let me just zoom it for a while so now what we'll do is we'll just do it rce and we'll create a class component and then what we'll need, need to import is our app.css and then what we really need to do is initialize a state for profile image let's say profile img equals quoted and what we'll really do is just go up right here we will just look up this open this in the new copy this link go back to our project and just paste it up exactly right here okay so now what we really need is just let's name it as class name as page and then what we really need is we need class name of container and then uh, h1 of class name heading and then heading that really contains of add your image and then what we really need is a class sorry a div of class name img holder of and within that we really need a image of id image and a class of image we'll just enter right here and what we will do is just we'll put it exactly right this and we will really call this state up in the render like const in bracket profile image sorry so we want profile image equals this dot state oh sorry this dot state okay yeah and what we will name this as a profile img let's look up in the screen it's been getting rendered so don't worry for right now it's not weather style we will do it just in few moments so what we really need right now is just so just go under right below here what we really need is of input as a file and what we really need as name let's say image upload upload id of input and then what we need to do is really put a parameter of accept is equal to uh, only we want to accept only images image slash star star so what it will really do is we only specify type it may select any file as well but in our case we want to only accept images that's why we have applied this condition over here so go down below up right here so what now i'll do is just to get clip of class name label because we are going to label this input and then what we are given is label html for we will label this for input now remember this uh, label html for is actually asking which element do you want to label for and for this purpose what we really need is uh, id of this input element so we'll really go on and type out the here and what we will really just do is we'll put a class name of image upload sorry upload yeah so now what we really need is a material icon cdn itself let's copy this one okay yeah 
just go up right here in the HTML or oh, paste it exactly below here and it's done so go in the close it up right here go to the app.js what we really need is of uh, uh, italic tag of material icons of class name like and under the we need as add underscore photo underscore alter need let's go up look it right here in our app dot our so as you can see it has gone up right here and we will just now get it styled properly so what we really need is just we need choose your photo so now what we really need to do is just we'll go and style this up so what we really do right right now is get over to the default margin as zero because we don't want the default browser margin and padding as zero we want page to be height as 100 vh we want background color as hash 512 da8 that's what we really want and then we want display as flex and then align items center and then justify content center okay so let's go up right here you can see this background has been styled up now let's take this container and then height has 300 pixels width as 300 pixels same as height and then border radius we'll give it as 10 pixels so we want border radius okay and then what we really want a background color of white okay and then what we will just go up hover over here we'll just reduce its opacity Let's go to the 0.5 okay and then what we'll just go on we will do is we'll style this heading up right here we really need this text aligned to center and then font family font family to arial helvetica sans serif and then we will go it as margin top to one rem and then what we'll really do is just font weight to be bold just look over here okay it has been not styled yet correctly but we'll just do it surely right now and then we need is uh, image holder width that we really need is of 150 pixels uh, height of 150 pixels and we really want it as a border of 3 pixels solid black and we really want it as a border radius of 5 pixels and then we want margin top of 1 rem okay and then what we really style is of image and then we really want is as width to 150 pixels and height of 150 pixels and what we really do is like object fit we will do this as cover so what we really do is it will do any image that it has some sort of element it will just get into cover mode so let's look up here so as you can see this is not really styled it properly so what we'll just go up right here exactly we'll do is as margin to auto okay it has been gone very well so now what we really do is we really need to hide this image hide this sorry hide this input element right now so what we need to do is input hash input 
type equals file and then what we do is display none you can see there is none right here so what exactly right now so what we really need is as label we need as as width 200 percent we need a margin top of one rem we need as display as flex and then what we need is as justify content justify content to center and for what we need to do is what we are really going to do is so let's see it's working or not first okay it's really working right now up here but we haven't set the url or like the logic of right here let's go back here we will style that uh, we will really style this label itself right now so what we have going what we are going to do is image upload what we are going to do is like margin to auto we are going to do is as width 200 pixels we are going to do what we height of 50 pixels background color of black color obviously we want white to match the suitable contrast we want this as border radius border radius as 10 pixels again just like our image holder we want is our text line center and then we want we want is our cursor to pointer let's go up right here so as you can see it's working okay so from now it's really fairly easy just come over right here so what we really need to define right now is we need to define a image handler itself what we really need to do is we will take a const as image handler as let's say any event what we really want as e and then let's take this up so what we really need right now is we really need a const of reader as a new file file reader that's it so if you are really new to the javascript or not really fairly so what it the file reader really does is it's a javascript api so as you can see it lets the web asynchronously read the file content so what it will really do is it will get access to your files and now what we really need to do is when the reader is on load when the reader gets reader dot on load and then what we really need is an arrow function and just around this if conditional reader dot ready state is, is equal to two then what we need is as we'll define this, this dot set state as profile image as reader dot result now what this reader dot ready set state really does is so as you can see here above your screen itself there is one chart that is that has been derived from uh, mozilla developer guides i will link down to the description so what it really does is there are three initial values out there reader dot ready state from ranging from zero one and two zero being the value of the state is empty so the reader has been created as you can see in the description what he what is telling the one is for loading when you just uh, select the input and it really executes the process of selecting the file then the initial value is actually of actually the one and after when you just uh, click your file and then the submit it then what it really does is gets your value up to the two that means the process has been executed to its end so now what we really need is a reader dot read read as data url and what we really do is e dot target dot capital f sorry 
smaller files as zero let's go right here oh i did some mistake it shouldn't be cost was we are doing a state management function up right here so let's go up right here so it has as you can see nothing has been changed much what we really need to do is we need to get this image handler into action so what i really go up go into the input what we need to do is we we'll define on change as this dot image handler okay and go up right here let's refresh this again just go up right here select this image and as you can see it's live up here let's try another image as well let's take this first let's open here so as you can see this not it has been chosen up to this react image first of all i would really like to thank you that you are up to here because not everyone who watches this video really go so far along this video and i'm really glad that you have so much thirst of the knowledge that you really want to learn and grow and to really make your future better words being said that if you really like this video please consider subscribing to this channel that really encourages me to really make and put out more content as well and really helps youtube to really spread out my message if you have any question queries comments or any some sort of suggestion just leave it down in the comment box below and i'll be happy to get back to you pretty soon and also if you have any future topic as well mention down in the comment box below till then stay subscribed and i see you next time catch up guys